Hello and welcome back to another video of MeasureSchool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and I'm back with another quick tip on Google Tag Manager. This time we want to talk about the Google Tag Manager API and actually how to try it out. Now when I was building my GTM copy-paste extension, I have utilized this website a lot to understand the Google Tag Manager API and to try out certain things and how the GTM API reacts, what I get back and so on. So it will be an invaluable resource when you want to try to work with the Google Tag Manager API. And it's pretty well documented. Some things are not so well documented, but who's here to complain? We want to try this out and we can try it out by going into the references here and see what we can actually do with the GTM API. Now I'm using the Tag Manager API version two and what you would need is actually just this website and a Google Tag Manager account to try this out on. So we have here a Google Tag Manager account. We have some tags in here. Let's say we want to see what tags are actually in the account and want to go through the GTM API to actually see this. Now we have different commands here that we can ask the GTM API to call on and one of those are the tags right here and we have different uh, commands. We can delete a tag, we can create a tag, get list and so on. We want to list actually the tags that we have available in our account and then this little try this API thing pops up, I can make this bigger. And what we would need to put in is a parent, a string. And then if we wanted to have one or the second page, if there are multiple tags, then we could put this in as well. Now, what is this parent thing? It's really just the URL that you see up here. So Google Tag Manager knows which account to access and get the data from. And it's everything from this um, slash here before the account starts up until to the workspace. And after that, it will take care of itself because it will know that you want to get the list of the tags. So I'm gonna copy this and put it into the parent string right here. We can execute it. Now it needs to have access to my Google Tag Manager account and therefore I need to go through the OAuth flow of actually logging in. And here we go, we get a 200 response, which is a good response, it's green. And we see the different tags and what we can actually get from the Google Tag Manager API. We get the account ID and so on, and we see the actual tags. So here's a tag ID two with the name um, GA event click. That would be this one. And in the JSON object, we have parameters in here as well. Now, when I was building the um, GTM copy paste extension, this was invaluable because I was able to try this out manually, so to say in this try this API controller and then um, port it over to my application. So here we have the JavaScript um, that would this go through in order to get this information. So just to give you an example of how I use this, I was obviously wanting to take a um, tag just like this one. And I wanted to get this tag first of all, so all the configuration. So I'm going to go here to the tag get and I wanted to get the path first of all for this um, particular tag. Now the path is actually what you can see down below here. We can also right click and click on uh, copy this link address and go over to the path and paste that in. So now that we have pasted it in, we obviously need to make it into a path. So I'm going to get rid of this beginning here, but then the API would know what to access. So I'm going to execute this. And again, I need to authenticate. And then it will get all the information for me in this perfectly formatted JSON format. And I can also go ahead and copy this. So now I have this and I can create a tag. Now the question was, where do you want to create this tag? So you need to put in a parent and you need to put in a request body. Now I already have the request body from the copied um, information that I had before. I want to copy this exact tag into a, another account. So I'm just going to go into another account here. All right. And up here I have this different account going to copy this and put this all in right here. So it knows where to put that information. Now, all I need to do is execute. Again, go through the OAuth flow and get a information back. It's not found. So something was wrong in my actual container or my parent right here. So let's see. Well, the parent doesn't actually need this tags at the end here. It knows that it's a tag that it wants to upload. So that should work. Let's try this out again. 
we get a 400 error. Now 400 errors are a bit annoying because you don't know actually what went wrong. Something is malformed inside of your tag and this is not well documented I must say but I can tell you what it is what is the problem here and that's um, probably the firing trigger ID because the firing trigger ID is not found in the new account so it can't reconnect it but if I get rid of this so you can just plainly edit this and execute we now see 200 we have uploaded or created this new tag it should now turn up in our other workspace here and here we go we have our event click the trigger was not ported over as the trigger is separate from the tag itself. So if you are interested in working with the Tag Manager API and see what is actually possible and try it out yourself, utilize this documentation with the try this API feature to see how it's actually working and how you can manipulate things through the API in your Google Tag Manager account or list certain things and so on. I heavily use this, as I said, with the GTM copy paste extension. Hey there, it's me again. Thanks for checking out our quick tip video. Was that helpful? Did you understand something? Not quite. Then I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. But if you liked it, then why not give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel right over there because we bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.